कॉग्नेटिव इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग इज द चेंज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन एनी मैनर डिटेक्टेबल बाई एन ऑब्जर्व विद इन द फील्ड ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव साइकोलॉजी इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग इज एन अप्रोच टू द गोल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ह्यूमन थिंकिंग इट बिगैन इन द नाइनटीन फोर्टीज एंड नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज एजुकेटर्स आर वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन द स्टडी ऑफ हाउ ह्यूमन्स लर्न दिस इज बिकॉज हाउ वन लर्नस अक्वायर्स न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड रिटेन्स प्रीवियस इंफॉर्मेशन गाइड्स सिलेक्शन ऑफ लॉन्ग टर्म लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड मैथड्स ऑफ इफेक्टिव इंस्ट्रक्शन टू दिस एंड कॉग्निशन एज अ साइकोलॉजिकल एरिया ऑफ स्टडी गोज फार बियॉन्ड सिंपली द टेकिंग इन एंड रिट्रीविंग इंफॉर्मेशन इट इज अ ब्रॉड फील्ड डेडिकेटेड टू द स्टडी ऑफ द माइंड हॉलिस्टिकली न्याय सर In 1967 one of the most influential researchers in cognition defined it as the study of how people encode structure store retrieve use or otherwise learn knowledge cognitive psychologists hypothesize an intervening variable or set of variables between environment and behavior which contrasts it with behavioral theories principles of information processing even though there are widely varying views within cognitive psychology there is general agreement among most cognitive psychologists on some basic principles of information processing system the first is the assumption of a limited capacity of the mental system this means that the amount of information that can be processed by the system is constrained in some very important ways bottlenecks or restrictions in the flow and processing of information occur at very specific points number 2 a second principle is that a control mechanism is required to oversee the encoding transformation processing storage retrieval and utilization of information that is not all of the processing capacity of the system is available an executive function that oversees this process will use up some of this capability when one is learning a new task or is confronted with a new environment the executive function requires more processing power than when one is doing a routine task or is in a familiar environment a third principle is that there is a two way flow of information as we try to make sense of the world around us we constantly use information that we gather through the senses often referred to as bottom up processing and information we have stored in memory often called top down processing in a dynamic process as we construct meaning about our environment and our relations to it this is somewhat analogous to the difference between inductive reasoning that is going from specific instances to a general conclusion and deductive reasoning that is going from a general principle to specific examples a similar distinction can be made between using information we derive from the senses and that generated by our imaginations a fourth principle generally accepted by cognitive psychologists is that the human organism has been genetically prepared to process and organize information in specific ways for example a human infant is more likely to look at a human face than any other stimulus other research has discovered additional biological predispositions to process information for example language development is similar in all human infants regardless of language spoken by adults or the area in which they live example rural versus urban asia versus europe all human infants with normal hearing babble and coo generate first words 
begin the use of telegraphic speech and over generalize at approximately the same ages